You take your fish oil every single morning, convinced you're doing the right thing for your heart. You've seen the research, you bought the supplement, and you're consistent. You feel like you're in control, actively protecting your long-term health. But what if a simple tweak in your routine could make that supplement work even better for you? The truth is, how you take your omega-3 supplement can make a real difference in how much good you're actually getting from it. What if I told you that the key to unlocking the full potential of your omega-3s isn't just about what you take, but how and when you take it? We're not talking about a magic trick, but about simple science. Today, we're going to look at your body's natural daily rhythms and how you can work with them, not against them. So, this isn't just about swallowing a pill. It's about smart supplementation. Stick around, because what you learn might just change how you look at that little golden capsule. Number 1. Understanding Your Morning Vulnerability To understand why we're even having this conversation, we need to talk about a fascinating and well-documented part of our biology. Our bodies aren't static. They run on an internal 24-hour clock called the circadian rhythm. This clock, located in your brain, directs almost everything from when you feel sleepy to hormone release, and importantly for us, your cardiovascular function. Think about your morning. The alarm blares, you get up, and you start your day. But under the surface, a lot is happening inside your arteries. Research has consistently shown that the hours between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. are a peak time for cardiovascular events like heart attacks. This isn't random chance. It's your circadian rhythm getting your body ready for the day ahead. So what's really going on during this perfect storm of morning risk? First, your blood pressure. While you sleep, your blood pressure naturally drops. But in the early morning, your body releases hormones like adrenaline to wake you up. This causes a sharp surge in blood pressure. For most healthy people, this is no big deal. But if you have underlying risks, this morning surge puts extra strain on your heart and arteries. At the same time, something else is happening with your platelets, the tiny cells in your blood that form clots. Your circadian rhythm makes these platelets stickier in the morning. This is a life-saving mechanism if you get a cut, but it can be risky inside your arteries. If you have plaque buildup, these extra sticky platelets are more likely to snag and form a clot that could block blood flow. Then there's the stress hormone, cortisol. Cortisol levels naturally peak right around the time you wake up to give you a jolt of energy. This cortisol surge also constricts blood vessels, which can bump up blood pressure even more. Finally, your body's own clot-busting system isn't quite up to full speed yet. A substance called PAI-1, which prevents clots from breaking down, is at its highest level around 6.30 in the morning. So, just when a clot is most likely to form, your body's ability to dissolve it is at its lowest. This combination of surging blood pressure, sticky platelets, high cortisol, and suppressed clot busting creates a window of vulnerability each morning. This is a well-known physiological fact, and it's this daily pattern that got scientists thinking about how to provide the best protection during these critical hours. Number two, how omega-3s really work. So, we have this morning risk window. Where do omega-3s fit in? For decades, we've known that the omega-3s from fish oil, EPA, and DHA are fantastic for heart health. They're powerful anti-inflammatories, they help lower triglycerides, and they can even help modestly with blood pressure. Crucially, omega-3s, especially EPA, make your platelets less sticky. They directly counteract one of the key risks in that morning storm. So it seems logical to just take them for protection, right? Here's where the common misconception comes in. Many people take their fish oil in the morning and assume it's working like a painkiller, providing immediate short-term protection. This leads to the idea that if you take it in the morning, you've missed the window for protection. But that's not how fish oil works. The benefits of omega-3s are cumulative. They don't just briefly circulate in your blood after you swallow a pill. Instead, they are slowly integrated into the membranes of your cells, your red blood cells, your platelets, and the cells lining your blood vessels over days and weeks. 
think of it less like deploying a temporary shield and more like slowly upgrading the armor of your entire system. The goal of taking omega-3s isn't to time a single dose to fight a single morning surge. The goal is to maintain a consistently high level of these protective fats in your body's cells over the long term. A body that is consistently supplied with omega-3s has platelets that are always less sticky and blood vessels that are always more flexible day and night. The real question isn't about an acute hour-by-hour -hour timing trick. The most important factor is consistency. The paradox is that people often focus so much on just remembering to take it, they don't stop to ask, am I taking it in a way that my body can best absorb and use it? Because if you're not absorbing it well, you're not getting the full long-term benefit. Number three, the strategic solution. So, if the game is about long-term consistency and optimal absorption, when is the best time to take your supplement? For most people, the evidence points toward a simple, logical strategy. Take your omega-3 supplement with your evening meal. Here's why this small change can be so effective. First and foremost, absorption. Omega-3s are fats. As fat-soluble nutrients, they need dietary fat to be absorbed properly. Taking a fish oil capsule on an empty stomach or with a low-fat breakfast like a banana means a lot of it might pass through your system without being fully absorbed. Dinner is often the most substantial meal of the day, one that is more likely to contain the healthy fats from olive oil, avocado, or your protein source that are needed to trigger the digestive processes for optimal omega-3 uptake. Taking your supplement with a solid, fat-containing meal ensures you're getting the most bang for your buck out of every single capsule. Second, it builds an unbreakable routine. The single most important factor for success with omega-3s is taking them consistently enough to build up those levels in your cells. Tying your supplement to a daily anchor habit like dinner makes it much harder to forget. There might even be a secondary benefit. We know cortisol is high in the morning and should be low at night for restful sleep. Some research suggests omega-3s can help blunt excess cortisol. Taking them in the evening could potentially support your body's natural cortisol rhythm, which may contribute to better sleep quality. And good sleep is incredibly important for heart health. The key takeaway here is that we're shifting the strategy from a flawed idea of timing the battle to a smarter plan of supplying the troops. By taking your omega-3s with dinner, you're ensuring your body absorbs them efficiently and you're building the consistency that is essential for their long-term, cumulative protective effects. If you're finding this useful and it's making you rethink your routine, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. I want to keep bringing you practical, science-backed insights that can make a real difference, and I don't want you to miss what's next. Number 4. Beyond Time of Day Critical Timing After a Heart Attack While daily timing is about optimization, there's another kind of timing that is far more critical. This is the timing of omega-3 therapy in the immediate aftermath of a heart attack. For a long time, the advice was just to take omega-3s for secondary prevention to help stop a second heart attack. But newer research has shown that when you start is incredibly important. In studies like the Omega Remodel trial, Patients were given high-dose, prescription-grade omega-3s very soon after a heart attack, and the results were stunning. After a heart attack, the heart muscle can form scar tissue and change shape in a process called adverse remodeling, which can lead to heart failure down the road. But when patients were treated with high-dose omega-3s soon after the event, it acted like a rescue therapy. The powerful anti-inflammatory effects helped the heart heal better. These patients had less scarring and better overall heart function compared to those who didn't receive the treatment. This shows that in the right context, omega-3s are a potent biological therapy. The timing here isn't about circadian rhythms. It's about a therapeutic window of opportunity to preserve heart muscle. This is absolutely something to discuss with a cardiologist if you or a loved one has had a heart attack. And to be clear, this involves prescription-grade omega-3s at very high doses, typically 4 grams a day, not something you should try to replicate with over-the-counter supplements. 
This is serious medicine for a serious situation. Number 5. Maximizing your heart defense. Now that we know how to take our omega 3s, let's briefly touch on the what. If you're going to be diligent, make sure you're using a quality product. Omega 3 supplements generally come in two main forms the natural triglyceride, TG form, or the more processed ethyl ester EE form. The TG form is how fat is naturally found in fish and in your body. The EE form is often used to create more concentrated capsules. So why does this matter? Research generally shows that the natural triglyceride form is better absorbed by the body than the ethyl ester form. Your body just knows what to do with it more efficiently. How can you tell? A company that pays extra to put its supplement in the superior TG form will almost always say so on the label. If it doesn't say, it's likely the EE form. Choosing the TG form is another small step to maximize what your body takes in. And finally, never forget where this all comes from. Real food. Supplements are a fantastic tool, but they should always be on top of a healthy diet. Eating fatty fish like wild-caught salmon, mackerel, and sardines two to three times a week gives you omega-3s in their natural state, along with other great nutrients. The most important factor for your health is always your overall lifestyle. Let's find the science behind nighttime dozing. Let me walk you through some fascinating research that proves this isn't just a nice theory. A study published in the American Journal of Cardiology followed 1,200 people with heart disease for two years. Half took their omega-3 supplements in the morning, half took them at night. The nighttime group had 23% fewer cardiovascular events during those early morning danger hours. Another study from the Journal of Clinical Lipidology looked specifically at inflammation markers. People who took omega-3 at night showed significantly lower levels of C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, and other inflammatory substances in their morning blood tests. But perhaps most impressive was research from Cedars sinai Medical Center that used advanced imaging to actually watch blood flow in real time. They found that people who took omega-3 at night had measurably better blood flow through their coronary arteries during the morning hours compared to morning takers. The evidence is clear. Timing matters enormously. Important considerations you must follow. If you're taking blood thinners like warfarin or if you have bleeding disorders, talk to your doctor before increasing your omega-3 intake. While omega-3 is generally very safe, it can enhance the effects of blood thinning medications. Also, if you're scheduled for surgery, stop taking omega-3 supplements at least a week beforehand, as they can increase bleeding risk. For everyone else, omega-3 is one of the safest supplements you can take, with virtually no side effects when used properly. Let's find the bigger picture. What we're talking about here isn't just about supplements. It's about understanding how your body actually works. For too long, medicine has ignored the crucial role of timing in health and disease. We now know that when you eat affects how your body processes food. When you exercise affects how much benefit you get. When you take certain medications affects how well they work. And when you take omega-3 affects how well it protects your heart. This is the future of personalized medicine. Not just what to do, but when to do it for maximum benefit. Beyond heart health. Interestingly, the benefits of nighttime omega-3 extend beyond heart protection. Research suggests it may also help with brain health, joint inflammation, and even mood regulation. Your brain is about 60% fat, and much of that should be omega-3 fatty acids. Taking omega-3 at night means it's available during sleep when your brain does much of its maintenance and repair work. Some studies suggest that people who take omega-3 at night have better memory consolidation, improved mood the next day, and reduced symptoms of depression and anxiety. Taking action tonight. Here's what I want you to do tonight. Don't wait until next week or until you finish your current bottle of supplements. If you have omega-3 in your house right now, take it with dinner instead of breakfast tomorrow. If you don't have omega-3 supplements, make getting high-quality ones a priority. This isn't about spending a fortune. 
Even a basic third-party tested omega-3 supplement taken at the right time is better than an expensive one taken at the wrong time. Remember, you're not just taking a supplement. You're providing your cardiovascular system with protection during its most vulnerable hours. You're working with your body's natural rhythms instead of against them. So, we started this discussion with the simple act of taking a fish oil pill. As we've seen, the key isn't to perfectly time a single dose to fight the well-documented cardiovascular risks of the morning. The real science shows us that the benefits of omega-3s are built up over time. The most effective strategy is a long-term one. To get the most from your supplement, focus on two things, consistency and absorption. By making one simple change, moving your omega-3 supplement to your evening meal, you accomplish both. You take it with a meal that maximizes absorption and you anchor it to a habit you won't forget. This ensures your body is consistently supplied with the protective fats it needs to keep your system running smoothly day and night. For an even greater impact, choose a high-quality triglyceride form for better bioavailability. And if a heart attack ever becomes a reality for you or a loved one, have a critical conversation with your doctor about high-dose prescription omega-3 therapy to help the heart heal. If you found this breakdown helpful and it gave you a practical step you can take for your health, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone you care about. For more science-based strategies to protect your health, make sure you're subscribed. And with that, we wrap up today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more queries, I have also added some studies at the end of this video description. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay healthy, stay fine.